Well, today the streets of Boston were filled with thousands of people who would rather run than order <laughs> up an Uber. Well, for the 15th time, the Boston Athletic Association held their half marathon. WBZ's Nicole Jacobs reports on the event that has become a tradition. A beautiful fall Sunday morning would not be complete without 8,500 runners taking on 13.1 miles. It's an awesome day, and I'm so glad the weather turned out. It was perfect out there. Um, the leaves were changing. It was beautiful. The Boston Athletic Association's 15th half marathon brought out some of the top elites, with Kenya's Daniel Salel winning for the men and Mary Wasera for the women. Finishing fourth for the women, this year's Boston Marathon winner, Caroline Rotich. Um, it's always special when a Boston Marathon champion um, comes back with us. She's in training for this year's New York City Marathon. But it was also a day of charity for more than 500 runners for Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Joseph St. Pierre was the first to finish for the charity. He also works for Dana-Farber. Why I just, you know, continue my passion for running and mix it with my, you know, my job. And I feel it was great because not only was I, you know, raising money, but, you know, working hard. So it's like the physical, mental, and spiritual aspect of it. So it's great. As runner after runner crossed the finish line, many took steps led by and in memory of those they love. I think about my mother the whole time. Uh, she's pushed me through. I had a picture right here on my bib, so she was along for the ride. A ride worth all the sweat and the hard work and the hardware, well worth all the memories. In Boston, Nicole Jacobs, WBZ News.